Welcome friends, we're oh, here hi. with Jared Vasado. Vasalo. Vasalo. <laughs> there we go. Two L's. Directly a mistake. Vasalo. Listen, it's incredible. This young man has been sitting here for how long in total? Uh, I usually come to juries every day. I spend like around 8 to 12, well 6 to 12, 6 to 14 actually hours a day. Oh and God. the project that I've just released, which is on my Instagram, is... It took me around 450 to 600 hours. 450 to 600 hours. Yeah. Every day you were sitting here. Every day. You can tell working. all the waiters, all yeah. the waitresses, even even the manager here. He can tell a life story of mine. It's, it's pretty crazy. Wow. <laughs> can you explain us a little bit, like just to give us an impression, how did you make this movie? Uh, so from the start, uh, I needed some form of inspiration. Uh, so I got some some pictures. Uh, from a 3D artist I usually follow, I uh, don't remember his name sadly right now, uh, and he was, it was just a picture of an astronaut stuck on a planet. And I was thinking, okay, yeah, maybe I can make this character, uh, you know, some, some type of communications expert, yeah. kind of find a signal, you know? Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, you know what, maybe a planet is overdone a bit too much. So I decided, okay, let's try to put a theme. And I kind of connected to Dante's Inferno. Yeah. Uh, so I had this station which had like nine different layers to like symbolize every single sin uh, so. in Inferno. And then, uh, but obviously... Uh, from Dante's Inferno? Dante's Inferno, yeah. Oh my god, this is incredible. Yeah, yeah. This is amazing. But, oh, but obviously the first, the, the first episode was more of a setup, so you're not actually in the station. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was just this character trying to find his signal, get onto his station and, and figure out why, why it's derelict and why it's not responding. And yeah, well, and then the script was made, I got the actors, the actresses, Isla, 16 years old, she's the protagonist, yeah. it's incredible talent, I, I, I gotta tell you. Um, and yeah, it, it was great fun making it, honestly. And explain to us, Jared, so for the people who don't have a clue, like you have different softwares and programs, yes. and you're modeling each single character, yep. no? Yep. From, and the environment scratch. and each movement, no? Yep. And, and then all the effects. So, so all the move. Okay, I'll stop the beginning. I'll stop from the beginning. So yeah. when it comes to uh, creating characters, I use a program called ZBrush. Yeah. Um, so I usually start with a ball of clay, and then you eventually develop the characters. The character is this one over here. Her name is Harriet. Yeah. This is her right now. So cool. Uh, and then from ZBrush, you uh, you take. Well, first you have to do something called UV mapping, which is like creating a map of yeah. the character so you can paint on it. And then you take it to a program called, well, I took it, I take it, to Substance Painter, mm -hmm. which is uh, for technical, for technical um, terms, it's like procedural painting. Yeah. Um, because it takes too long to paint and I rather not. So procedural <laughs> is very good, it's very fast. And the, 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 the look is amazing in regards to painting. And I mean, during that process, let's say, for example, you create this character. Yeah. Um, do you already have in mind how it will look like, or do you also go with the flow a little bit? Yes, so uh, I, I always make astronauts, so that's kind of my thing, my sci-fi thing. But I wanted to have, uh, I wanted this character to be somewhat different, so I've never made a, f a female before. And I'm a big fan of female empowerment, so yeah. this movie I wanted to be, I have a strong female, <laughs> I wanted to go all out. Um, but. I've never been good with female anatomy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> many ways. Um, but <laughs> so you know, I wanted the helmet to be somewhat different. Um, so I kind of had like this thimble look um, yeah. to give her some some type of different different look towards it. And the character design had her more square to show that she's very protective, yet more circular mm -hmm. um, to show you know she is she has that soft side to her. Trying to add that extra character design. Wow. Um, and for her to look bulky and strong yeah. and powerful. Um, and yeah, so uh, to, con to continue with my process, uh, after Substance Painter, I take it to Cinema 4D. Yeah. And Cinema 4D is my main animation software, even though you shouldn't animate, uh, <laughs> do character animation a bit, but I'm a stubborn boy. <laughs> I'm a very stubborn boy. Uh, and, <laughs> I can see that. Uh, yeah, yeah, so I was, uh, so I, I first started doing Cinema 4D, with Cinema 4D, like when I was 14 years old. Uh, wow, Minecraft. really? But it was only, it was, I only kept it for like six months and I gave oh up on God. it, which sucks. I wish I kept on going. So far. Um, but yeah, I, I only, I made this stuff with Cinema 4D, and then I would take it to Adobe After Effects and Premiere, uh, alongside the voice acting, uh, you know, having the, the script in front of them, 
obviously we have the storyboard también uh, before it actually goes on uh, everything to make sure all the, the visual compositions are made yeah you know and yeah so uh, that's kind of my setup and then it's just the process oh wait i forgot and also <laughs> when it comes to the animation uh when you see the character moving it's not yeah. me hand animating well i have to edit it obviously but it's actually me moving in real life mm -hmm. i use motion capture no way I how did you do that capture haha <laughs> I don't use a suit because I'm a broke yeah. boy. <laughs> but so you, you attach sensors to yourself? I don't. I do something that I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> it's a secret. It's a secret. Well, it uses an AI. It's an AI-based wow. way of uh, of uh, creating motion capture oh my God. Uh, through just uh, through just a camera. Uh, so I move, and it's it, it, it is literally me. Uh, um, although the character herself is uh, Harriet, and the actress is uh, is Isla. When, it, when it's moving, it is me. Although I, I, ah, I, did, okay. I did come across issues uh, when I make episode two, which I'm gonna make in the future. I wanna wait until I'm just a bit better. <laughs> um, I think I will do motion capture with the main actress and do voice acting on top of it because there are moments in the film yeah. where it, it some, feels somewhat disjointed. Uh, but I made it work some, in some oh, step places. Step by step. So, so in a nutshell, Jared, your movie is now finished and it's on YouTube, yeah? It is on YouTube, it's on Instagram, Damien. Uh, TikTok as well? I don't do TikTok, I really should. Maybe Everybody should says I should do it. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. I don't know. Listen, everybody, <laughs> guys, we need to support this, okay? Share this movie, we'll put the link in the description. Yep. Share it, please, on your Facebook, give it likes. Look, we have somebody here with so much talent. Look at this, he made this himself. You know how much work is required, how much dedication, how much sacrifice to do something like this? This is incredible. Please, Janitos, we need to support this. Share it as much as you can, because this is a piece of art. That's what it is. This is so cool. <laughs> Any questions here? <laughs> Incredible. I'm blown away. I'm absolutely blown away. Me too. Mind boggling. Mind boggling. Thanks, man. I do try. I do try. And then it's got like those solid moments of her being alone. Wow. Space. And I, 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 honestly, I've got to give hats off to the main actress because Isla is extremely talented. Yeah. And this is amazing. Um, in regards to the story, I was, uh, I, I, obviously I, I wrote everything myself, wow. um, but I was also, it was also a joint effort to my friend Jennifer Edwards too. Uh, we kind of collaborated to make this story uh, and alongside Shania Torres, she has, uh, she helped me tons in the voice recording, all of the technical uh, equipment belongs to her. Um, and the actors and actresses for helping helping me out because at some point in the script, uh, obviously I graduated in writing, but it uh, I didn't uh, I kind of took a week break of uh, of writing to focus on anim animation. Yeah. And this was the first script from that break, and it was like okay, okay, I can definitely feel the rust. <laughs> episode two definitely you, you can see this my normal self, my normal yeah. writing way. But the first episode struggles in a lot of ways. And for the future, Jared, um, do you have any capacity to take on jobs or projects, or what's the plan? So now because I released this and I got to my goal where I'm, I'm I've finally released the film and I've got the potential uh, to develop full narratives. Um, mm -hmm. Before I wasn't uh, taking on jobs, yeah. uh, as you experienced. I know, yes. I know. <laughs> my friend here, he, he offered me a, he offered me a and I said no. And but, I'm sure many people who watch this, they will ask you to yeah, work on something. Yeah, so. I've turned down a lot of a lot of, jog, a lot jobs, of jobs. It's made me tear up, tear up a bit, you know. Uh, you know, money doesn't really give you satisfaction. It's more of just um, the production, the process more so. For some reason, when you when you complete that problem of an animation issue, it's just oh my god, it feels like the world, <laughs> the world is just kind of encircling you. Yeah, I'm sure she understands. <laughs> I do. And it sometimes feels be feels better than when you actually release it. You know? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, how do you feel now that the movie is released? Do you feel like uh, a weight coming off your shoulder, or do you feel empty as well? No, it never ends for me. I'm on, I'm, I'm on a train track. You're already on the next one. I'm already on the next one. I'm he heading to the moon and nice. I'm going to come back. That's kind of my way. Nice one. That's great. Seriously, 
at such a young age to have that mindset to not go for quick money but to go the hard way a loss Woo! how is the movie called Jared? Will of the Station like Will of the Wisp Will of the Station yeah so it's like Will of the Wisp but then Will of nice. the Station yeah okay everybody Will of the Station google it post it Please, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, WhatsApp, send to everyone you know, please. This one needs to get views. Banger!